What's happening in terms of the eye during macular degeneration? What actually functionally happens? Macular degeneration is a damage of your retina, and it's not your entire retina for the most part. It's just the central vision where most of your uh, vision takes place. So that central part of the retina can atrophy, which is the majority of uh, macular degeneration, but there is a, uh, a minority type of macular degeneration, the bleeding type, which is about 10% of all cases, that not only robs the center part, but it begins to bleed and cause all kinds of other problems. The major difference is the dry type or the atrophic type degenerates slowly, whereas the bleeding type degenerates quickly. Uh, so those are both very bad things that happen to you, uh, and there's uh, some headway being made in uh, making our situation better. Uh, certainly for the dry type, there, is, uh, there are vitamins, and vitamins can be started as you start to show signs of the disease. For the wet type, it's even more exciting. Even though it's a more devastating injury or disease when that happens to you, there are injectable medications, anti-angiogenic factors, steroids that could be injected, and lasers as well, used uh, to try and halt and sometimes even partially reverse uh, such a devastating event. So people need to understand that if they're diagnosed with macular degeneration, it does not mean the end of their independence, that they should really aggressively seek out the best treatment. Absolutely, and time is really of the essence, even if you have the slow type, because once you're diagnosed, there are things that can be done. Uh, and there's, again, research going on to try and address uh, these issues to try and make our treatments even better and to speed up recovery and make it even better than it is today.